Let's solve the compound inequality. Except for the empty set, express the solution set in both set builder and interval notations. Graph the solution set on a number line. Let's start off with our first inequality. We subtract 4 from both sides, and we have 2x is less than negative 2. When we divide both sides by 2, we have x is less than negative 1. And we have another inequality. x minus 3 is greater than negative 5. We simply add 3 to both sides, and we get x is greater than negative 2. Now, in order to graph this on a number line, Let's first start with our first inequality. x is less than negative 1. So from negative 1, we want values to the left. And x is greater than negative 2. So from negative 2, we want values to the right. In order to put this in set builder notation, we want the set of all x such that well, let's think about this. We have the word and. So that means the solution has to be values that occur in both the first inequality and the second inequality. They have to be common to both of them. Those are only numbers in between negative 2 and negative 1. So it's the set of all x such that negative 2 is less than x is less than negative 1. And the interval notation would be the values from negative 2 to negative 1, but not including the endpoints.